Hi, I'm Barry Gardner, LNS Chip Blaster Service. Welcome to our in factory studio. Today we're going to talk about cartridge filters and how to change them. You can see here we have a D3035, a D3070, and our standalone chip chillers. All three of these use this cartridge filter. Now, when it's time to change the filters on the D3035 and the standalone chip chiller, you have to turn the power off first. However, on the D3070, you can do it while it's running. So all you do is you shut off filter B, if it's the one that's dirty. <clears throat> Remove the filters, lids. Remove the used cartridge filter and dispose. Now you want to take a shot vac and get all the chips and whatnot out of there, otherwise you'll clog the check valve down in there. After we shot back the filter housing, make sure it's all clean. You want to inspect the O-ring for cracks or any sort of damage, and then you want to replace that with chip blaster O-rings. Another thing, make sure you're using chip blaster filters. The part number would be 3015-10. And we always have these in stock. And then you want to reattach the lid. Once that done, you can put it back into service. For the D3035 and the channel of chip chillers, turn the power back on, and then you're squared away. Thanks for watching the video on how to change the cartridge filters. If you have any other suggestions, please let us know. 